What's up guys, Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com Just replying to a VIP member's question I thought it would be benefit, beneficial to share this with everybody watching So um, here we go Hey Tony, I'm a new member, I had a question for you I ordered the Atom X27 spray gun, low volume, low pressure with a 1.3 tip for base coat clear coat That's great Ordered the X20 low volume, low pressure for primer with a 2.0 tip because I just I have a five horsepower, 26 gallon compressor. Okay, good. Plenty of plenty of horsepower. It probably puts out some good CFM. Um, 26 gallon is a small air compressor, but not bad for spraying parts and motorcycles and little items. Okay, touch ups, no problem. How much pressure should I have coming from the compressor to the regulator on the paint gun? So on on your little air compressors. Uh, you usually have a air regulator for output, okay? So as long as you have, I would say, 60 pounds coming out to your gun, you should be fine. On my shop setup, um, coming from my 60-gallon tank, I have, we basically have a, maybe I could draw this out for you. Uh, we have the air compressor. So let's just say the air compressor is over here, right, uh, with our gauges, if I don't, if I stop writing, this is going to stop. So and then I have a hose coming out, about 10 feet of hose, with a water filter air regulator gauge. Okay, so I have air coming out of here at like full power. Okay, probably about 140, 150 pounds, 100, 130, 140 pounds. Okay, coming out of air to this air regulator, not air regulator slash water filter, where it has the valve where water comes out. And then I have 80 pounds of line pressure, steady 80 pounds coming out, okay? So I always have 80 pounds of air coming out going to my spray gun. Man, how am I going <laughs> to... Let me draw a quick spray gun here. So we have a spray gun. Okay, there's the handle and this is the cup up here. Okay, God, that is one ugly spray gun, Okay. Um, and then at the spray gun, you have a little air regulator at the bottom, and then you got your hose. So I got 80 pounds coming into here, all right? And this is where you could set um, your basic like 26 pounds, 25 to 28 pounds of air to spray your primer, okay? Um, so that's pretty much it. You should basically have 60 to 80 pounds in your line coming to your air gun regulator here, where you would tone it down. So basically, let me see, I got a spray gun. Where's my spray gun, Mike? You need a spray gun? I don't have my water filter with me, but normally, here, I have a gauge. Sorry, guys, it's a quick video I just wanted to show you. So we have uh, the gauge here. I have a brand new X27 spray gun here, okay? And this is what it's gonna look like. So, um, Okay, so this is what it looks like. All right, so I usually have a water filter, a red water filter at the bottom of this spray gun. Let me just show you what that looks like. If you don't know, we'll go to Zula.com. And if we look under accessories or spray gun cup and filters, uh, this thing right here, okay, this inline water filter, literally plugs into the bottom of this. So when I have air come in, I make sure I filter out that last minute uh, moisture, okay, and condensation out before it even goes into the regulator or and the gun, right? So I, use, I, I have that on, on the bottom here, and then I have my hose hooked up underneath right over here, okay? So this is where you would basically have your trigger halfway pulled, air coming out, air only, and then you would set this gauge here to show about 25 pounds when spraying primer, okay? Depending, if you have a very thick mix mixture and you wanna spray down super thick, you could lower the pressure down because if, you if you're spraying high pressure with a thick material, it's gonna come on, it's gonna lay on really dry, all right? So primers are usually laid on anywhere from 23 to 25 pounds uh, and then base coat clear coat, 26 to 28 to sometimes maybe even 29 pounds, all right? So hopefully this cleared it up. Um, uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think. Hope this helped. And hopefully I answered your question here. And that's pretty much it. Um, and then he said, 
Um, what PSI should I turn the regulator on the gun for basic clear coat and primer compared to the high volume? It's pretty much the same thing. You can spray um, with pretty much the same thing. So if you're doing base coat, clear coat with the high volume, low pressure guns, you're going to be spraying at about 26, 27, 28, 29 PSI in that area. Okay. Uh, usually the higher the pressure, the more atomization you're going to get and the uh, better flow out you're going to get. So 28, 29 for clear coat, 26, 27 for base coat is what I usually spray at, um, at the gauge here. Primer is a little lower, 25 PSI, uh, give or take. And it should be about the same uh, with the low volume, low pressure, you could spray with a little lower, like one to two PSI, little lower. But I mean, normally, like I never really look at the gauge. You know, I hardly look at the gauge. It's usually by tone and how the how the paint comes out. You can look, get an idea of how it's spraying on just by seeing how it sprays on the panel. The goal is to get it to spray on nice, wet, and evenly. That's pretty much it. All right. Uh, we have step-by-step -step videos in VIP that cover this section. So just watch one of my videos where I'm ready to paint the car and I'm talking to you and, and breaking down this whole process. For all you new people um, watching this video, please like, share, subscribe. And also, if you want to get a free 85-page auto body and paint manual and free training on auto body, uh, go to learnautobodyandpaint.com by clicking the link on the top right over here on YouTube or down below in the description. You'll come to a page like this, our main headquarters online. Uh, and you'll be able to download this free guide on auto body. It's completely redone. It links to videos. It links to YouTube videos, uh, content, vlogs. Um, and if you want to learn more and get super serious, check out the VIP area of the site. And that's pretty much it. And if you're looking for great spray guns, don't forget to check out Zula.com where they feature the Atom spray guns, spray guns that I love. And they are extremely, extremely high built and spray really, really nice. I like them a lot. All right, Tony here. Hopefully this video helps. Talk to you soon. Bye.